Next up, we have a newbie, uh, but he's not new entirely. Welcome Ken to the stage. Give it up for Ken. Give it up for Ken, you lazy bastards. Woo! That's Good evening, Durango. <laughs> there it is. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ken. Yes, I have been hearing it a lot this summer, ever since the Barbie movie came out. But not to fear, I will not be torturing you by singing I'm Just a Ken, because I'm not just a Ken. I am fucking Ken. Now remember that. Now, I'm from the suburbs of Chicago. So, yeah, yeah, where at? Oh, Timmy fucking Park. Now, what brings me to Durango, Colorado, you ask? Well, I like to travel a lot. You know, I, lo I love going on new experiences, meeting new people, forming great connections, like all of you lovely people in here tonight. So I joined a tour group. Yeah, I'm a fucking tourist. Can you believe that? That's where I wound up in life. <laughs> Win Windows Live, ladies and gentlemen. So anyways, I was decided, okay, I'm going to do a little Southwest adventure here, and here I come. So I show up to meet my tour group, hoping to meet some other exciting, adventurous travelers. Ladies and gentlemen, at 26 years old, the second youngest person in my tour group is 71. <laughs> So I was on the prowl tonight for some action, and then I see improv and stand-up, and I say, fantastic. Although that's not unusual, I seem to run into weird shit whenever I travel anywhere. It's, it's like a magnet of bullshit around my life. I've always been into the 80s. I'm an old soul. The cougars, I can deal with, but the saber-tooths, nah. <laughs> So one time, I flew all the way to the Dominican Republic for an 80s festival. <laughs> Night Ranger, Stacy Q, every one-hit wonder and 45-year-old trying to relive their glory day you could find were on that beach. And then there was me. At the time, a 20-year-old walking the beach in a white Miami Vice outfit and a pink t-shirt. <laughs> I decided to do an excursion one day. Off-road dune buggies. I said, all right, let, let's get out of here. Let, let's get away from the 80s for a bit. Let's do some adrenaline. So by the end of the night, I, or not the end of the night, but by the end of the excursion, I was covered head to toe in mud from doing this excursion. Off-road dune buggies. It looked like I just got slimed by the poltergeist. Like, it was, not, it was not pleasant looking at all. He walked out of the fucking room before I could even say it. Fantastic. So I'm coming back. I was the only person from my resort to do this excursion. I'm covered head to toe in mud, and the group of people from North Carolina sitting behind me, I pull out a picture of me and the Miami Vice digs, and I'm like, oh yeah, isn't it funny how one person in 24 hours goes from looking like this to looking like this? And this guy looks at me dead on, and then he turns to his party and he goes, we need to bring this guy to one of our one night stand parties. <laughs> So I, I, I give him the raised eye, I look at him again, I say, One Night Stand Party. And he goes, oh, allow me, allow me to explain. I run a company called One Night Stand. We make vodka and condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. So he, he immediately goes into his sales pitch with it, because, you know, a 20-year-old in the Dominican Republic by himself is automatically condom distribution material. Trojan, yeah, the theme of the night. So he starts telling me, he goes, you know, I hate it when people, they, they drink, and because they get drunk, that's what makes them feel frisky, and then they get drunk drive to go get some condoms. And this guy's talking to me like he's just solved every world problem. He goes, I've fixed this issue. If you buy a bottle of one night stand vodka, you get two condoms in the cylinder of the lid. <laughs> And then he pulls out a One Night Stand t-shirt that's got the One Night Stand logo, big lipstick, kiss mark, and it says, I keep secrets. <laughs> so we dropped this suburban family off first that was on the bus. So the, the, the typical white picket, mother, daughter, two young kids. And the father goes up to the guy before he gets off the bus and he goes, 
just so you know, I work at the corporate offices for Trojan. And I'm sitting there like, how the fuck did I wind up on this bus with all these condoms? <laughs> yeah, so I get back to my resort. Keep in mind, this is an 80s-centric event, so it's me with all the cougars and all the, you know, people reliving their youth. And I'm sitting there, and uh, I'm at the closing ceremony with the MTV VJs, if anyone even knows what that concept even was from back in the day. They're all on stage, and I'm standing right in the front. And I see Richard Blade with his British accent. He's talking, they're giving all the accolades, thanking everybody, and I'm standing there. And he goes, ladies and gentlemen, and keep, because I was covered in mud, I had now changed into the one night stand, I keep secret shirt. <laughs> I was given no heads up this was gonna happen. So Richard Blade, he introduces all the MTV VJs, he introduces Night Ranger and Loverboy, and then he goes, would you believe there's, there's one more person I want to give recognition to because he has really stood out this whole, this whole week. Would you believe he just turned 20? I said, oh fuck. There's like 800 people in here, so he's like, he's right here coming up on stage. So there I am standing in front of like 800 people wearing a shirt that says one night stand, world's best condoms, I keep secrets. <laughs> I, I think I'm owed some serious fucking royalties. Owners, first of all, because I don't know if anybody uses. I mean, Trojan one night stand. I mean, what's the difference, right? So I don't know. So I, I don't know if we will have any condom shenanigans with my uh, Golden Girls Brigade that I've been spending my week with. But it's a time, Colorado. It's a time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.